Australia's waters are the only breeding ground for bizarre weaponry. Even in its crowded cities, deadly creatures are never far away. They live side by side with humans. Mostly their paths never cross, but when they do, the consequences can be tragic. This is one of the world's tiniest killers, the size of a pea, the redback spider. Redback spiders are found just about everywhere. They are incredibly invasive in that they can occupy a variety of different habitats. You might find them in mailboxes, you find them in outhouses, you find them under your garden furniture. The redback can kill prey that's 50 times its size, but first, it has to feel it. If you put your hand on a, a speaker, you can feel as well as hear the noise that's coming out of that speaker. Well, redbacks exclusively hear through the vibrations that reach their legs. It's just like the vibrations reach your hand when you touch a speaker. They have a special organ in their legs that lets them essentially hear through their feet. The redback hunts at night. By day, it hides in dark nooks and crannies. So any item left out on a lawn can become a redback haven. A children's toy can turn deadly. Redback spiders are not aggressive. They will bite as a defensive measure. This is typically when people get bitten, when they put their hands someplace where they haven't looked first. Sudden movement provokes an attack. Poison shoots from the cephalothorax's glands. The fang is like a hollow hypodermic needle. It inserts those fangs and then squeezes out the poison from inside its venom sac. Usually in humans, what it will do is go into the lymphatic system, the, uh, which sort of spreads all through your body. The redback's chief venom is latrotoxin. It wreaks havoc on the human nervous system. There'll be joint pain that will come and go in various parts of your body. It can cause nausea, vomiting, stomach pains very common. Fortunately, spider anti-venom is almost 100% effective if a victim can get it within three hours. But in one Australian city, the arachnid threat is much more serious. This spider kills more people than any other. The good news, it only lives in one place. The bad news, that place is Sydney, Australia's biggest city. This is the Sydney Funnel Web Spider. The Sydney Funnel Web is, is easily one of the most dangerous uh, spiders in the entire world. This spider isn't just more toxic than the redback, it's more aggressive. This reared up position is absolutely a warning to potential predators. What's unusual about the Sydney funnel web is just how long they're willing to stay reared back with their fangs out. They open their fangs and the funnel webs drip venom through the fangs. As you can really see these droplets of venom coming out of the fangs. Female funnel web spiders rarely leave their burrows, but the male does when it's searching for a mate, and that's when trouble strikes. He's got a pretty strong drive out there, and so as a result, it's primarily adult males that people are encountering. By a quirk of evolution, the male's toxin is harmless to most mammals, but humans are the exception to the rule. And like humans, these spiders look for cool, shaded places to hang out. It's wandered into a place that they're not going to be finding females, and really what they want is a nice, quiet, dark place, and so shoes are a reasonable place. Funnel web venom has 40 different toxins, but the main threat to humans is robustoxin. They've got 
big fangs. I mean, just mechanically, these fangs are big enough that they hurt like the dickens. It's a nerve poison that produces an effect opposite to that of other neurotoxins. Instead of shutting down the nervous system, it overloads it, creating a maelstrom of electric firings and wreaking havoc in the victim's body. Salivary glands, tear ducts, sweat glands start to run uncontrollably, muscles spasm, and blood pressure climbs as vessels contract. They're suffering real pain. They start having respiratory problems, and they would be nauseous. As blood pressure rises, it increases the air pressure inside the millions of tiny air sacs in the lungs. When these sacs reach bursting point, liquid called serum leaks in. It's as if the victim is drowning. It's called pulmonary odemia. When the serum leaks into the lungs, it can cause extra fluid in the area and prevent the oxygen and blood exchange that normally occurs. And based upon the severity, it can be lethal. Coming up, can you survive the world's deadliest spider? The mysterious wild dog. And then attack the throat, and they crush the larynx. And Australia's biggest killer. As soon as a crocodile grabs onto you, there's very little chance that it's gonna let go. Australia is home to some of nature's deadliest killers. Killers that strike with absolute force, with lightning speed, and with powerful toxins. They can take a life within minutes. And they remind us that in nature, there are countless ways to die. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider is one of nature's deadliest. Victims can die from a kind of internal chaos when its toxin overloads the nervous system. It destroys their lung capacity as if they were drowning on dry land. Without immediate intervention, victims can die within 15 minutes. But if emergency crews can quickly deliver anti-venom, they can save lives. In Sydney, emergency workers are always prepared for the call. 